welcome everyone is Sofia speaking and I'm, Maria, hi. I'm here with Maria my partner in crime for our podcast about uh, film we still don't have a name but we are working <laughs> to to decide our name we need your help and for this second episode we want to speak about uh, Roma Roma is a drama film is a drama film on Netflix so if you want to watch you can watch on the net Netflix uh, pa- platform and this film um, was written by the American uh, the Mexican film director uh, Alfonso Cua- uh, Cuaron, Cuaron uh, yes Uh, famous for other films like Gravity and Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, Cuaron also produced, shot and co-edited Roma, but then Maria can speak better about the more technical parts. And the film won the Golden Lion for Best Film at the Venice International Film Festival in 2018. And moreover, in 2019, it won Oscar for Best Foreigner Language Film, for Best Cinematography and Best Director. And obviously, it received uh, others' ad- awards, ton of awards, the, that, because it's a real amazing film. Uh, the film is set in Mexico City in 1970 and follows the life of an housekeeper for a middle-class family that lives in the Roma neighbor. That's where the, the title of the film comes from. And the women, uh, the women are the absolute main characters of the film. And despite different origin and social class, because obviously uh, we are talking about an housekeeper and a, a wife of a middle-class family, Uh, Cleo, uh, the, the housekeeper, and Sofia, the mother, fight uh, silently against the chains of their life. Uh, and also they fight again, not the, against uh, men, but we can say that the, we can say that the change of their life um, happened because, because the of men. the bad behavior of the men in their lives, actually. <laughs> exactly. And, um, And meanwhile, outside the house, the country is full of protests and demonstration between Stalin and the militia, uh, favored by the Mexican government. And that is more or less the plot, but we are also curious to know much more about the technical part, the cinematography, the photography. And because Maria studied about this thing and she's more expert, Uh, Maria, tell us something about this film. Well, let me start by talking about the almost DP of the film. And I say almost because he uh, had other compromises. So in the end, even if he started um, doing or planning the cinematography for the film, he had to uh, quit um, because he had other uh, compromises. So uh, I'm talking about Emmanuel Lubezki. I don't know if you know if you guys know him, but uh, he's a very famous cinematographer. If you are a cinematography student, you actually have to study his work. And their last films are, uh, for example, Gravity, Birdman, or The Revenant. So you probably know very famous his work. Film, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but he has also worked with like Tim Burton. He did Sleepy Hollow and also Terrence Malick and the Coen Brothers. So. You know, he's very famous in the, you know, Maybe film his world. name is not so famous for people that are Probably not so not. inside the, the cinema sector. Mm-hmm. But the film he, con- he made yeah, are yeah, very, very, very famous and very popular. Famous. Exactly. And he has won various Oscars. And he's Mexican as well. And he has worked with um, Alfonso Cuaron uh, many, many times, I think. But as I said, because he had other uh, things, he couldn't do it in the end. And the curious thing about this film is that the director, uh, Alfonso Cuaron, ended up doing the cinematography, which is not a usual thing, because it's very difficult to have such, uh, like, uh, two jobs that are so important for the film to do it, like, to be done by the same person. It's not a usual thing. Um, so it was very weird because of that. 
But I, I was researching and I found out that actually Alfonso Cuarón, when he was studying in film school, he studied uh, cinematography, which I didn't know. I thought he might have done, uh, you know, uh, directing. So Direct, yeah. yeah, it was. It's uh, very yeah. He contributed in many many technical parts for the film. Mm -hmm, also yeah. the the edit. Yeah, a lot of directors actually contribute in the editing process. Like it depends, of course, but they usually they do. It's the same as in a lot of films, especially if they're smaller, like maybe short films or independent films, the cinematographer will a lot of the times also be the camera operator. So that is uh, something usual, but not uh, the but director. Director do, and uh, yeah. choreography, uh, choreography, cinematographer, cinematography it's sorry. Not, it's usually not the same person. <laughs> and um, the film is in black and white. Actually, we, I think that Sofia and I talked about this and we actually really like the black and white that they uh, that they use uh, is a digital, so it's it's not it's not vintage. The feeling is not vintage, even if it's uh, the film is set on the 1970s. Yeah, even if it's black and white, mm -hmm. doesn't look an old film. No, because it's filmed on digital. It was filmed in color, and then processed into black and white. And they wanted to give, as far as I'm concerned, they wanted to give it like a naturalistic look. And I think they actually accomplished what what they wanted to do. So. You have um, these uh, shots that almost look like paintings, which I really liked. The way they use light is very interesting. And also, like, you have a lot of detail in, like, uh, lights and shadows, which is very interesting because it, it also helps you be able to recognize things in the shot. It's, a, it's very detailed and it's very nice. And um, in general, I would say it's a lot of, um, like, uh, I wouldn't say wide angle, but... Yeah, more or less and like long scenes and that actually helps you to have time to analyze the, the the place and the scene and to see the details in every scene which I really appreciated because okay the film is slow and it's long it's two hours and 15 minutes I think but it makes sense for the film because in the end, it's talking about the daily life of a domestic worker and a family, so it makes sense that it's slow. Um, so I actually, I really like that. Yeah, because the real life is not an action film. Exactly. So. Not everything happens. Actually, things don't happen like very, <laughs> very fast. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just really like that. I so, Sometimes I, if the film is too slow, it gets a bit, you know heavy and like too much and it could be boring but I don't think it's a case for Roma at least um, I thought yeah, it, say some people have good. found the film a bit boring mm. and slow but that's not my case I really I appreciate the film even if people say that it's slow it's boring that's not not for me and maybe the first part is a bit more slow uh, but thanks I think thanks the amazing work they have done with the camera uh, the and the very high technical level, the I've never felt tired to see the film. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that's important because yeah, very <laughs> if you're tired to see a film, it's not a good sign. No, it was very very aesthetically pleasing. So even just watching the the scenes, it was very nice. I particularly like this one scene uh, in a forest at night. I won't tell you what happens in the scene because. It's not a, it's not an important point in the story, but I don't want to do spoilers. But yeah, it's at night and with fire, and it's uh, uh, actually very cool. I've talked about night scenes with fire already for two episodes, but they're very interesting to see. And uh, I also really liked one scene where they're at the beach and they're all the kids and the the main character Cleo and um, and the mom, uh, Sophia, is the name Cleo and yeah. Sophia, right? Uh, and they're all, you know, embracing each other uh, at the beach. And the, it's almost like a Renaissance painting. I don't know. It was so, so beautiful. I really like that scene. When you guys watch it, you, you will see what I mean. Yeah. And I want to add that Quaron spoken about Roman being a semi-autobiographical mm -hmm. semi film based on his uh, childhood. Mm -hmm. And we can, so we can say that Roma is 
like it's similar uh, to a photo memory album. Yeah, I think it's, it's well, I don't think I'm probably sure that it's his most personal film. And actually I think that maybe that was one of the reasons why he decided to do the cinematography, which again, it's a very weird thing that the director would choose to do that. But when, when the previous And also record, left, uh, record the film exactly in the neighborhood, neighborhood yeah. Roma. Yeah. Not in a set, but in uh, in the navy, in, in the city, in mm -hmm, yeah. for real. I think it was overall very interesting. Ah, and one thing we haven't talked about is that the film is in Spanish, of course, because it's Me uh, Mexico and the director is uh, Mexican, and the cast is, uh, as far as I know, from Mexico as well. But they also speak in another language. I'm not sure. It's, I know it's an. Uh, like I think a it's a language. Yeah, it's a Mexican it's a mix. It's a mix dialect. Between, yeah. I don't know exactly the name. I don't know. Um, actually, I don't know the name, but I found it very, uh, like, a very interesting. The sounds were very. It was curious. Yeah. You know, and a nice touch, actually, a nice addition. I liked it. So in the end, I want to recommend Roma to everyone, yes, guys, very good. because it's an amazing piece of art. Mm -hmm. If I, we can say, th I think it's a piece of art, like every film, yeah. are a piece of art. Very good. Uh, that charms the science by science. Mm -hmm. So scene by scene, she means. Ah, scene by scene. <laughs> sorry, with my but bad I, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> but Maria. Help me. I know that science uh, for Sofia means scene. Yeah, yeah. scenes by scenes. <laughs> exactly. Yes, it's a very good film. It won. Did you? Did we talk that about it? Won like a. I oh know you talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Best o like Oscar for many Oscar many things. Oscar for a lot of things and also in uh, the Venice uh, Film Festival, mm -hmm. International Film Festival, the Gold Leon. Mm -hmm. I think it's the, it's the name of the pra the the award. I yeah. don't remember well. Um, yeah, Gold Lion. Golden Lion. Yeah, yeah. Golden Lion. So it's a very good, guys. You, we really recommend it. We really enjoyed it. So mm. tell us if you watch it. Exactly. Tell us if you have watched the film. Mm -hmm. If you follow our advice. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. see you for the next episode and for the next film. I hope will be not a Spanish one because if not, the uh, only film for Maria every time <laughs> everything film is Spanish. in Spanish, and I need uh, <laughs> always the subtitle to understand well. Ah, uh, but this time we had them in Italian, so it was okay. She's not saying that, but she understood. So thank you, thank you, to guys. Hear us and stay tuned. Yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>